Hey guys, it's Autumn. I have not made a video for you in a really long time, especially not one that I have actually had to edit myself, so please be gentle. Um, but I'm hoping that this is something that I can start to do a little bit more of, so if that's something you want to see, if you have specific styles that you're interested in seeing, please let me know in the comments below. Um, for today, I decided to do this vintage-inspired fluff curl brush out, so if that's something you're interested in seeing, then you should keep watching. So I'm actually going to go ahead and start by popping some extensions in my hair. As you can tell, my hair is baby baby fine and rather thin, so for a little bit of extra volume and length, I'm going to use my mini house extensions. Now that I officially have 10 times more hair on my head, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So first I'm going to go in with my Hot Sexy Hair Heat Protectant, and I'm just going to kind of mist that throughout. Um, I love this one, the Control Me, because not only does it heat protect up to, 4, ooh, up to 450, but it also kind of um, acts as a little bit of a setting spray, so it's going to help my hair hold the curl a little bit better. Open it first. What the heck? can tell I've been in quarantine for too long. My hairsprays have crusted shut. Okay. Once I feel like I have kind of gotten through all the layers, I'm just going to lightly brush it through and this is just going to work the product throughout my natural hair throughout the extensions just making sure that it's all kind of evenly coated Okay, now I'm going to go in with my three-quarter inch iron. I have already had it heating up for a while. So I'm just taking maybe about one inch sections, one inch thickness, but I'm kind of going for sort of longer sections just to save some time. And I am, as always, starting the iron close to my scalp and slowly making my way towards the ends. A lot of times if you put it on the ends and just roll it up, your ends are going to get a lot of heat. But up closer to your scalp, it's not going to get as much heat. So when you let go, you're going to have really tight curls at the bottom and kind of fall limp up towards the top. So this is how we can avoid that. And I'm just holding it until the outside layer of my hair kind of feels hot to the touch. And then I'm going to go ahead and release. And then holding that curl in place, I am just going to pin it with a duck bill clip. And I'm kind of going down on all sides. So right now I'm starting on this side. All of my curls are going down. In the back, all of my curls going down. This side, all my curls going down. And that's kind of typical for most vintage sets. Depending on what you want, the volume, direction of the front, you can also curl. Sometimes the bang section either back or forward. For this set, I'm just going to curl it down just like everything else. So now I'm going to just continue to do the same thing all around the back of my head.
Okay. So when you're done, you should have something that looks sort of like this. And then once you're sure, they're all the way cool. So normally I would do my makeup in between, but had to look cute for you. Uh, once you're sure they're all the way cool, you can start releasing those pin curls. Okay, we should have a little bit of a kind of like Shirley Temple vibe going on. It's totally normal, totally fine. So I'm going to lightly mist with like a light hold hairspray, like a working spray. Just to kind of help that curl retain its shape. And then I'm going to start finger combing my curls out. Just kind of breaking them up a little bit. And I'm just going in with my brush, giving it a little light brush out. Okay, once I feel like I've done that sufficiently, I'm gonna go in with my teasing comb. This is Tool Structure. It's from uh, Sally, but I really like this one. It has two rows of big teeth and a row of small teeth in the middle, so you can really get in there. So I'm kind of just going to start teasing the entirety of my head. Just section by section. And actually I'm going to go ahead and pin my bangs out of the way while I do this. Just because I want to get those a little bit later on. So I'm wearing extensions, so I'm going to do some backcombing right at my roots on this top layer of hair just so I can make sure that none of my tracks show through because that is not a cute look. So that's how I'm starting my teasing and then I'm actually just going to go in with, um, this is the Sporn Out Little Wonder and I'm just going to lightly kind of fluff tease all of my curls. And done! Just kidding. Um, so now I'm going to go in with my same little wonder brush and I'm going to just start smoothing over that top layer. I don't want to go too deep because I don't want to brush out all that teasing and volume that I just put in. And I'm just going to kind of see what sort of a shape my hair feels like taking. It's getting fr a little frizzy, so I'm going to go in with a little bit of my Kenra Working Wax. Just put a tiny, tiny bit on my hands, about this much. I'm going to rub it all the way into my fingers. And just kind of lightly smooth some of that in. That's just going to help me kind of control frizz and flyaways and those sorts of things. And I'm just going to keep brushing until I get a shape that I like. Since we really let those 
curls harden and cool, they're not going anywhere. The shape is still going to be there. So I don't want like a super tight wave pattern today. I want it a little like looser and fluffier. So I'm not super concerned about making sure that my uh, wave pattern is forming really tightly or anything like that. And as I'm working, I feel like I want a little more volume up at the top here. My bottom is looking pretty voluminous because of all those extensions and everything. So I'm just going to add a little bit more back combing on these top layers here. And then what I'm actually going to do now is I'm just going to grab the bottom of my hair and I'm going to take some small sections and with my comb I'm just going to kind of reset those curls just so the bottom looks really nice and fluffy but still intentional. So I'm just shaping the curls and then just kind of like pulling them out Fingers. Similar to how you would like pancake a braid. I'm kind of just like pancaking those curls. And that's going to give me a really nice shape at the bottom here. So I'm just going to continue working my way around all these visible ends. And that happens sometimes, like you can't really see exactly what you're doing in the very back of your head, so every once in a while there's going to be a curl or two that just don't really want to cooperate. So you can see how much more structure this side has versus this side, which I haven't really shaped yet. And I put in my extensions today because I want it to be a little extra like, boom. You could totally do this exact same set, the same brush out everything on shorter hair, on finer hair, and still get a really nice result. Just for the look I was wanting for today, I just wanted a little bit of extra hair to play with. Also, I just finished coloring my extensions the other day, and I haven't used them yet, so I just wanted an excuse to play with my extensions also. I'm just going to mist with a light little hairspray as I continue working once I have a shape that I'm kind of happy with. And then I'm going to go ahead and shape my bang area. So I like quite a bit of volume in my bangs. So I'm going in with my teasing comb. And using small sections, I'm just really packing that teasing to my root. Like your hair should literally stand straight up on its own. So I'm going to spray that in place. And then I'm going to use my little under brush to smooth all the visible sections. My camera will not stop dying, so I'm sorry about that. So I'm going to take a duck block clip and place it underneath my bang area. And that's going to kind of help me keep that swooshy shape. And then I'm just using my 
little brush just to kind of figure out what shape I want for my bangs. So I have a little bit of an S wave that's forming here. So I'm gonna clip that into place because I like how that's forming. And then I'm gonna do the same thing that I did at the ends. I'm gonna take the ends of my bang section, form my curls, and pull them out. Just so it'll blend nicely with the rest of my fluff curls below. You don't really ever want there to be a super distinct break in any style. Like, you shouldn't really be able to tell where one thing starts and another thing stops. We want it all just to kind of flow nicely together. Now we are going to cement this in. I do not want it to move. So I'm going to grab my finishing spray. This is the Kenner 26. I'm going to do a liberal coating of this. And then I'm gonna take my blow dryer on high heat, low speed, and set it in place. Okay, so this is the finished style. I'm gonna go ahead and accessorize and I'll be right back. So there we have it. This is my flip curl brush out. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will work up the energy to do another video soon.